Hello, I've uh, made uh, this uh, uh, real uh, rudder conversion from uh, for a 737 simulator and I thought I'd just uh, take you to, through the different parts I've done. Uh, this is how it started out. Uh, we just showed off the original uh, shaft. Uh, I'll, I'll strip it and show you later. Uh, the footrests are uh, uh, separate from from uh, the rudder construction, which is uh, aluminum al aluminium plates uh, screwed to the base. The housing is made of uh, MDF six six millimeters. Uh, sides and uh, two millimeter tops made to slide in and slide out. Let's see if you can show it there. So here you can see I, I saw the uh, almost true to be able to to bend this uh, plate without uh, breaking it. Uh, oh. And uh, here you can see the uh, the candy stuff. Uh, so I made these uh, uh, aluminium uh, rods. Uh, this measures forty five uh, times fifteen millimeters inside and I made this uh, nylon uh, uh, I don't know the word but uh, I made some nylon blocks uh, sewed and fitted them uh, to fit inside these rods uh, and it also supports uh, the shaft for the, for the pedal which is cut off uh, from the original, I cut it off about here. And this was due to a uh, lack of space in my uh, simulator. I had to narrow it with a few centimeters to get to this. Uh, so I, uh, I had this nylon block, made a 19 millimeter hole, drilled through, made a uh, uh, it fit a bolt that goes through and lock locks it up. It's tightened from here again, so they are really really fit. On the bottom, I've done the same. There's a nylon block inside, uh, drilled with 10 millimeter to fit this uh, bolt, this uh, shaft uh, axle going through. Uh, and also have bearings, uh, bearings on the outside and a flange bearing that is mounted on the uh, rod or shaft. Uh, here, is uh, here is a nylon piece just to keep the distance between them, uh, 20 millimeter, and the same on the other side, a flange bearing and a block bearing. And it's all mounted on this aluminum piece uh, that is screwed to the plywood base. Uh, to uh, to um, transfer the uh, the movement, I've used uh, eight millimeter uh, rods going to this eye, uh, eye bolts or what it's called uh, on the on this uh, moving uh, piece of aluminum here and secured to the to the sh shaft with another eye bolt which makes it re uh, really tight uh, 
this uh, the centerpiece of the transferring unit is simply a piece of aluminum uh, which I placed on another piece of aluminum with this nylon uh, yeah, uh, piece in between. Uh, uh, this nylon piece is sawed out from uh, uh, this, is, this is how it looks originally. So I sawed it off and polished and made it really it's, it's made of something called POM POM uh, it's industrial in Ireland for uh, uh, yeah and it's really slip slippery uh, this is the same type of uh, nylon really uh, smooth and uh, low friction surface and I've used it. <laughs> uh, I used it to a lot of things. Well, uh, so and this uh, piece is hooked up with this bolt. I tried using a six millimeter bolt in the beginning, but it soon uh, got very. Uh, it was it was not a good way to secure it. It got loose very fast, very quick. So I found this uh, bolt, 12 millimeter shaft with uh, yeah, and really 12 millimeter hole in this and also 12 millimeter in the nylon and it's it's uh, locked up uh, with a, yeah, with a screw down here uh, and as I mentioned it was uh, polished and now for a uh, little friction whatsoever um, yes the centering mechanism is uh, these two gas struts and uh, when in center position uh, they are all the way uh, into a, a bolt going through this piece holding these two pipes that fit all most exactly to the gas uh, struts so when I move one way you see the top strut there gives uh, after center and now the other one gives so it's really really tight uh, the, the the put meter for the brakes are also fit with nylon I drilled a nylon block with a 12 millimeter uh, uh, drain uh, so it would fit almost uh, perfect around this gas strut and uh, glued it with the contact glue so it it is possible to get it loose later on um yeah and this is piano string it's not locked up it's just bent 90 millimeters on the top and 90 millimeter no, 90 degrees uh, the other way it's, uh, they are totally uh, there's no slack in them uh, these gas rods also uh, function as a parallel rod to secure that the the move uh, or the the angle of the of the pedal is the same or uh, uh, through the movement. Uh, yes. Uh, That's uh, uh, more or less it. My plan is to make some detailed drawings uh, so it can be 
to help for others. It's been a lot of uh, trial and error. And I'm uh, so used a long time, but uh, on the for the next battles, uh, well, uh, it's gonna go much faster. But it's uh, it's it's a solution I'm very uh, confident in. It's a solid, very tight, and uh, well, it suits it suits my needs. It's not, uh, it's not like the only way to do it, but uh, it turned out to be a very good solution. Uh, so, uh, please contact me if you want uh, more details before I provide a uh, link to drawings in the uh, description of the movie. So long.